Hey guys, uh, Ty here with Eric Tay, who's going to walk me, a uh, division noob, through recalibration. Yeah, so recalibration is something you unlock in the uh, tech wing, and it's really cool. It's fur like further pushing your armor to a style that you want to have it, and kind of playing on those RPG elements, which is like really cool. So in layman's terms, this is just a way for you to put on mods to your armor and gear to just make you better, but also to, to make to basically de designate what kind of class you want to play and helping you with the stats that you need to play that class. Yeah, uh, it, you can... Even though there's no classes in this game, yeah, it's more exactly. about play well, style. I, I, you can argue that there's sort of classes, but not yeah. really, just depending on how you play. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's, it basically lets you roll off a certain stat or you know like something that you didn't like on a piece of armor to something you do want. And that's, you know, again, just like you said, it's so you can play a certain way or really min-max something like pulse duration or pulse damage, etc. Or turret duration, you know, like I love turrets, so I want to, you know, make a really tanky, long-lasting turret. turret. So you could yeah. do that if you wanted to. That's what recalibrating lets you do. Cool. Also, it helps you balance out your gear. Okay, cool. Let's do it. The pricing on the recalibrations will ramp as you either get or don't get what you want, right? Mm -hmm. So I have a lot of credits, so I'll just do this as an example. Yeah. Um, you're like, okay, uh, this is pretty good, but, you know, I want to get, I don't know, pulse duration, right? Got it. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to roll this. I didn't get pulse duration. You did not get what you wanted. Which, you know, it sucks, <laughs> right? So you're, you're like, okay, I, so I pulled many, a slot machine, right? How so many Phoenix bucks was that? That that wasn't a high end. Fortunately, okay. this is just a, a superior a purple. Yeah. And that just costs normal dollars. Got it. I was got not it. about to roll. You weren't going to do the Phoenix. Yeah, okay, I gotta got to save it. those. I'm, I'm poor. They also nerfed the Phoenix <laughs> credit drops in the dark zone, so I can't I can't be doing that. But no. you know, I just want to show you how much more expensive it is, right? So that first one was sixteen thousand, yes. right? This is twenty eight thousand. Regular 000 just now. credits. In yeah, regular credits. credits. Yeah. But you're like, I'm stubborn. I really want it. Yeah. I have the money for it. So I'm gonna try again. And I still didn't still get did it. Not get because what this you one's really hard to get, right? Because there's so many more attributes that you could end up um, rolling in this case because this is the one that has you know like, so that, like just eight different so things. So that just went up to forty nine thousand. Yeah. from twenty eight. Mm -hmm. okay. So I think yeah. with Phoenix credits for high end, I think it's like thirty one, then like a forty eight, and then Jesus. it gets like it just okay. keeps going up and up. So it can be really frustrating, or you could get really lucky. It's okay. just like, do you play? Do you pray rather? To R and Jesus is what a lot it's of like people say. Like playing a slot machine. In yeah, Vegas, exactly. You know? it's like, hey. So, but this is this is where you can you know really min max. Hopefully, you guys are getting lucky with your rolls because clearly <laughs> I didn't get lucky. But you know that's part of the game. I feel like that's part of what has given it replayability is because you're not always going to get lucky, yeah. and you're going to have to you know pull that slot machine. You I know? guess that yeah, with great risk comes great reward, right?